Hello guys, welcome to a live reaction to One Piece chapter 1020, which is called Robin vs. Black Maria. So, Kevin and I were just playing Pokemon Unite. Mm -hmm. It's really fun. Yeah, it is. It is pay to win. We didn't pay, so we are losing most of the time. <laughs> nah, I paid a little. <laughs> just, to get, yeah. just to get the um, battle pass. But yeah. that's... That's, you know, most I, I would spend. Yeah, true. But it is a fun game. Yeah. So, today, TCB scans is a little bit late for about an hour. But we are on time. <laughs> after mm. after a long time, we are on time. Yep. So, we got a cover story here. With Tenchiro eating his own hair while dreaming eating a fish. <laughs> yeah, giant <laughs> shrimp tempura that's a weird thing but okay why not yeah and... so it's a, it's a cover request by 420 land then Shiro dreaming of eating giant shrimp tempura but in reality nibbling on his hair <laughs> where are people getting these ideas <laughs> well it's in his name 420 land yeah. <laughs> that, might, that might be a hint. <laughs> it might be a hint. <laughs> so I prepared putting these two here. And I think you want to start? Yeah. Just want to point out uh, Marco had the statues here already before even the chi uh, chapter title was dropped. So he made the perfect prediction right there. So. Well, it's the only draw if I left, right? <laughs> Yeah, well, besides the big ones. Well, chapter is called Robin vs. Black Maria, so I should have put Brook away. <laughs> should I put him away? No. No, no, no. Keep him there. No. We we need the comedy. It's coming, I bet. All right, <laughs> then we better start. Um, you want to you wanna go with the first page? Okay. So Onigashima's cold dome roof, a domestic dispute. So we're starting with Kaido versus Yamato. The Makami, dog, dog fruit. It is the wolf. It Makami. Well, it could be. It could be you were right with the with the Okami uh, it, reference it, there. It, it, it is the wolf. The dog, dog fruit is an incredibly valuable mythical soan. It was a mistake to let a wannabe Odin like you eat it. <laughs> the Makami's Vanos guardian deity. Now it's your job to protect Wano for me. What? Why does Kaido insist for Yamato to be Shogun? She doesn't want it. And she will never want it. Why does he still insist? I don't know. That's so weird. Just do it, your, just do it yourself. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe, um, here, here's a thought before we go on to the next page. Maybe she is shackled to Wano by the devil fruit. Like, she can't even leave Wano. That's a good idea. Because the fruit would Maybe. the fruit would lose its power or something. I don't know. Could really be. But yeah. Because it's... Is it this wolf god thing, right? This Amaterasu, I guess. Probably, yeah. Could, you, could really be a reference to Okami, yeah? Well, okay. Okami is a reference to a Japanese fairy tale, so <laughs> it's a, yeah, yeah. a reference of a <laughs> reference. <laughs> so this Kirin stuff, <laughs> it was it was a, it was a good stretch, but it was a stretch. So Oda goes the simple way: it's mythical wolf. Mm. Yeah, you okay, you are totally good. right there. Okay, um, like hell it is, pant pant. Uh, Orochi may have been a tyrant, but he transformed this country into a giant weapons factory. You just have to take your rightful place as ruler and claim the fruit of their labor. I'm going to help the samurai and protect this country from you. No more chains. This country will open. And Namuchi Yoga, which translates to Divine Glacial Fang. Open Ooh. the country. I'm not gonna let that happen. And the blast breath from Kaido, and it collides. Don't push your luck. It collides into this Japanese swirl. <laughs> yeah, kind of like yin and yang. 
Ja, yeah, true. Ja, yeah. Huff. Okay. All right. Third floor, Great Banquet Hall. Robinson, get a hold of yourself. Robinson. Robin, over here. What? Okay, this, uh, this is some spider poison illusion stuff. I don't Mom, know. come closer, Robin. Professor Clover, it's been a while. This is an illusion. This is some spider fog. I don't know. Yeah, or she has been poisoned. One, one of two things. Yeah. Yeah. Saul, I've been looking forward to seeing you. The <laughs> Why are you all here? And uh, Robin's tearing up. I've wanted to see you too. That's right. Same oh, that's year. Bad. That's Look. bad. Look how big you've grown, Robin. Robin, son, don't get any closer. And... I know, but it's such a shame. Tres mano, Fresia. Okay, she realizes. Yeah. <laughs> and it was... They were transformed. Oh, it was three snakes. It was the three snakes. Yeah. But the illusion. Nureona, hognose snake smile. Kunyun. Oh, that's a number. She got a, a numbers. female number. Yeah. Kunyun. Tensho Kudari, red snake smile. They're not working. Is it their illusions or Black Maria's? Uh, I don't know. It's hard to say. Like, they're all snake themed. Even the number, if you look at the, the teeth. I, I have no clue. No idea either. Yeah, next page. You should, you should have given me a sign you were unaffected, Robinson. How dare they mess with someone's memories like that? They got away. I can't believe Black Maria Sama's okay. illusions didn't work on them. Okay. Yeah, you were right, Black Maria. Are you kidding me? Yeah, <laughs> it's like this place is haunted. <laughs> Black Maria is right after Robin and Brooke. Looks like you weren't affected either. I was adrift in that mist for 50 years. Of course I dreamt of my friends surviving. It always hurt when I imagined their faces. We're, we're two peas in a pot. Yo -ho -ho. Now we just have to overcome our current ordeal. <laughs> Furisode van Judo. Ah, it's that strange weapon again. <laughs> <laughs> van Judo, puck smile. That's a smile too? What? So that's a subordinate? <laughs> I, thought was, I, I thought that that was a legit weapon, but it's oh, just oh. a subordinate. Look Look in the lower left panel. You see a dog in that thing running. The dog's basically oh, powering no. the weapon. Oh, what the hell is... No. A pug. It, it's a pug. <laughs> no way. That human face dog keeps starting fires. What the hell? <laughs> Uh, How does Oda do this? Oh shit! It, it looked like some mythical devil fruit weapon shit, but it's just a puck running a fire wheel. <laughs> yeah, that's rich. But we don't know if the weapon was infused with the smile. You know what I mean? It could be that this is a weapon infused smile. Uh, a weapon infused with a smile, because it doesn't look so. like it's living. Because no, no, because would, that would be a three-way smile. Because we got the weapon, we got the dog, and the human. That doesn't work. No, no. So it's it a, wait, it's a puck smile. So the dog is the smile's effect. Yeah. So if you give yeah. the weapon, the dog, the, the puck smile, it could end up like that. Are we seeing some Vegapunk stuff right here? That's my question. No, I, I, I think the the weapon isn't. <laughs> that is not uh, double fruit infused. The weapon or smile infused. No way. This uh, that this bearded human ate the puck smile, and this dog is now running this wheel. I don't know. But okay. <laughs> that's nothing to theorize about. I think that's just an ordinary smile which Oda shits on. Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay next page we see black maria um oh uh, hanging some threads from the ceiling and so illusions don't sway you wow <laughs> okay and she is but dreams do right 
Wahahaha, <laughs> after all, you're deluded enough to think you can win against Kaido-sama. What is she trying now? She's see, she's in... Okay. Spider-net. <laughs> so she has her own spider stuff. Much appreciated. Wahaha, <laughs> the whole floor is ablaze. If you keep this up, you're going to burn down the, the, the entire castle. <clears throat> ah, sorry. <laughs> Are you worried about your enemies? That's rich. If you care so much, Surre surrender and let us catch you, Nico Robin. Robinson, can you hold me for a little longer? If that weapon, if that weapon is alive. Whoa! Okay. What is Brooke doing? And even Robin's like, what? <laughs> Cold oh, he's soul. Free he's freezing him by just flying through him. Yeah. He's he's flying through the, the, the puck smell and he throws it. When you do <laughs> and the puck just dropped out of the weapon. I think you were right. It's yeah. just a normal weapon with a pug uh, with a with a small yeah. user in it. <laughs> you don't know Sorry. when to give up, do you? And she strikes at Robin's spider net, so she let go. Don't you get it, Nico Robin? You must know deep down your friends will always send you out. Blackfoot Whoa. called you right to me. So parade ice burn. So he frees the floor. Big shots from all over the world are after you. You're nothing but a burden to your crew. That's why it was so easy to lure you here. Robin Chan, save me! All of Onigashima heard that laughing stock. And Blackfoot has your crew's second highest bounty? That should tell you something. Well, he will defeat Queen, so he will look. <laughs> yeah. He <laughs> will yep. look bad after this. <laughs> yeah. Yo ho 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 ho. Sanchi san truly is extraordinary. Robinson, I assume you'd like to take it from here. Thanks. <laughs> I appreciate it. You can leave the rest of these night demons to me, even though I'm scared of ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> Brooke being Classic scared Brooke. of ghosts. <laughs> yeah, right. Did I strike a nerve? Not at all. He's kind of, he's a kind soul, and you'll never understand just how much it means for him to rely on me, that's true. He's one of the things that will allow the pirate king to soar. Gigante Fleur. Oh, okay. So people predicted this, that Robin can create a giant of herself a giant clone yeah yeah but that was obvious it was just but when it, will she is, use it is it a naked clone uh it could be <laughs> so people will like next chapter i guess no but uh it's you know how robin made a clone in the castle to sneak around and find uh information that clone was fully clothed i think she can make clothed clones yeah, just but a little. Now it's a giant. Yeah, just just a little fan service here, I guess. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Next page, Wano Tokage Port. I need more meat. You already ate everything we had on board. There is no way we are gonna find more out here. You found him underwater. It has to be a miracle. We heard something. Oh, Momo is here too. Yeah, Momo. Luffy, I'm glad you're really alive. You fell down here just like we did. Shinobu's kite allowed us to escape from Kaido. Yeah, that was a good call. But Luffy, Kinemon, and Kiko, they... Right in front of me, they... This isn't a time for that. You're in charge. You can cry when it's over. We've still got to blow Kaido away. Luffy Taro, how can he be so harsh? Uh, he got a no, point. He understands. He understands, yeah. I won't lose this this time, huh? Oh, God. Isn't that Straw Hat? I thought he was fighting. I just need more meat. Okay, I guess I'll look for some. Where can they get some? That's the thing. Maybe at the festival? Okay, I guess I'll look for some. If he doesn't pull this off, I'll never get to leave this country. Come on, get it together. <laughs> Karo oh, is rooting and for him. Yeah, I've got some theories here. Oh, and Momo. Oh, yes. You're gonna take me up there, up there to finish this. Huh? <laughs> I need you to transform into a dragon and fly. A final trip back to Onigashima. 
One Piece chapter 1020 and so Momo's gonna overcome his fears. He has to, yeah. Yeah. There's some info on the snake ladies and Oh yeah. The color the of the pages. Yamako uses in this chapter is called Namuchi Hyoga. It seems to be a reference to a manga written by Yasuhiko Yoshikasu. It's a historical manga that features Namuchi, also known as the heavenly god Okuno Nushi no Kami, depicted as a figure that appeared in uh, second, cent second century Japan. Numerous folk, folk tales have mentioned him, including Jinmo no Mino U and Yamato Takeru. This chapter references a few yokai ones. It's okay, okay, okay. I don't care about the snakes. Nura, um, Nura wet woman? Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's... Rabbit's okay. comment about Sanji, this chapter, seems to be a callback to what Oda said in SBS Volume 73 about both Sanji and Zoro being Luffy's two precious wings. Okay. Yeah, but here we go. Um, Momo flying him up there. I mean, that... We should have seen that coming. Yeah. We just didn't think about it, how he'll get back up there. But but the thing is Caribou. Caribou is still in the game. And Ca Caribou will tell someone about Yurahoshi. He still knows that. Mm. But I, I, still th I still think he's going to tell Kaido in this war. Someone needs to find out. Uh, either Kaido or Big Mom, because Big Mom calling Luffy on Fishman Island was the same chapter as Karibu finding out about Shirohoshi. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it could be, but why is why why can't Karibu leave the country on his own? That's my my biggest question here. Because he was imprisoned by Kaido and has no ships because when Luffy and all those lose he has no chance to get away because they will protect the, the borders again and no one can leave yeah but right now he ha he could he could actually leave I mean it's, well, it's kind of oh, hard on true. his own but... right now he could yeah it's true <laughs> like in, in, in all that confusion and well, probably not because the seas around Wano are wild and he can't uh, do it by himself maybe he yeah he would need somebody to. Yeah, uh, that's people. True. People got a theory that that Caribou is a is an um, uh, is a spy by, a spy of Blackbeard, since the beginning of the New World. Hmm. Uh, I've got some good evidence about this, um, because someone told him about some stuff. I don't remember everything. I just read it last week. It was a really good theory, and it makes sense. Uh, if that is true. Caribou is maybe set up as an informant to Blackbeard of Shira Hoshi being Poseidon mm. and Momo being Uranus. Yeah. That would be wild. And Blackbeard knows everything after that. That would fit. It would totally fit. It makes sense him him being a spy. Yeah. But he could live with Blackbeard if yeah, I don't know. No, I think Black Blackbeard is is one of those guys. He doesn't give shit about his his subordinates. He's basically just yeah. If you're useful to me, you're you're in. But don't don't ever expect us to save you or anything like that. Yeah, it's more of yeah. more kind of a captain. He will probably sure, yeah. save his main crew, but. All, all those pirates on, on, what was it called? Honeycomb? No. Uh, the, the weird island. Yeah, yeah. It's, in, the, in the official, it's called Fullalet Island. Yeah, so basically... Or Beehive? Something like that. Um, yeah, Beehive, it's in the TCB. It's the normal translation. Yeah. But the official one, it's called, it's called Fullalet. Maybe it translates to Beehive. I don't know. But yeah, I, I think it's it's definitely possible that he was on that island. 
and became yeah. a spy afterwards. Yeah. But it it depends how it ties together with the um with the cover story. Because that that also still exists and is basically mm. canon. Yeah. True. So right now Okay, the chat that just dropped, but I'm going to go and check if someone already has a theory on Reddit, on anything. Oh, this is good. I like I like this one. Okay, so Momo is flying up Luffy now, right? Yeah. Up there, Yamato, a dog, is fighting Kaido. If Zoro actually fights King... Marco will go up to help Yamato and Luffy. So this would complete the story of Momotaro. You know she, this story? Yeah, Luffy being with, the monkey, uh, uh, Momonosuke. Monkey dog and pheasant, monkey dog and pheasant fighting yeah. the Oni. That this would, would complete Momotaro's story. Damn, that's actually really good. I'm, because this guy says, I'm glad Oda went the unpredictable route with Yamato's fruit. Seems like now with Luffy the monkey, Yamato the dog, and Marco the pheasant will follow the legend of Momotaro. Congrats to those who guessed it right. Yeah, but it, it was heavily implied with Momonosuke. His name is... Um, his, yeah. Uh, uh, damn it. His clothing with the peaches on him. Yeah. It, it was heavily hinted. And I, I know the story, so yeah, it's it fits perfectly. Now it fits even more, yeah. Because maybe this is how Marco dies. By giving his flames to Luffy, and not Zoro. At the final fight, when Luffy gets another big hit by Kaido, and Marco needs to sacrifice himself, maybe. No, I don't, I don't think Marco will die. Well, okay, there's also the stuff with Edward Weevil, right? Mm. That needs to be resolved somehow. Yeah. How? I don't know how Weevil will fit, will fit into the story anyway. It needs to be some rock stuff with his mother. Mm -hmm. I don't see how he, he could fit in the story at all. Otherwise than that. I don't think Weevil is just a, 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 a fun character or to put in there just to, I don't know, screw with people. No, he has all those stitches, like Moria's guys. It's really weird. Yeah. And he's after Marco to give him some information on Blackbeard. Because he's originally after Blackbeard, but he wants to fight or defeat Cairo, uh, Marco to give him some in information on Blackbeard. Hmm. Yeah, it could be. That we see more of him. I don't know. But his, his mother is more important. Yeah, I mean, she's the brain behind that. So. She was on Rocks. On Rocks' is crew. With Kaido, Big Mom, and Whitebeard. Yeah. But we only know she was with Whitebeard on a ship a lot of years ago, so. Should, should be the Rocks pirates. Someone says, because of the Marco dog Luffy, uh, Yamato and Luffy theory, what if a what what if a bicycle is currently approaching Wano? <laughs> oh, excuse me for one moment. Someone knocked on my door. <laughs> yep. Just a moment, guys. Well, while Marco is gone, I'm I'm gonna fill fill this part of the video with something else. Um, where he was going with this. Uh, comment and I think it it would be Im like it would be huge is if um, like uh, Blue Pheasant uh, what's his name again uh, I'm bad with names sorry guys if he would join the fight so that would that would hint at two things I mean if it would happen it would be insane but all right, know. sorry guys, sorry guys. It was just an Amazon delivery. Yeah. Let's see what that is. 
so you think it's it's our our Kichi that that oh, might join oh, the fight? That is that is a good timing because Why? I ordered the one the, because I ordered the One Piece figure. <laughs> <laughs> you got it now. Okay, that's that's really good timing. Okay, it is a small figure of King. <laughs> that's cool. So you're going but to. I thought this would be more figures because it was a, a twenty dollar or twenty euro purchase, and on the picture there were a king, queen, and three more of Kaido subordinates. Okay, weird. I think Jack, I think Jack as well, but it didn't say that this was just king. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I read it wrong. Yeah, that's weird. But let's look at this. It's yeah. just a small one because it fits um, uh, in front of Kairos figure. Mm. All right. I mean, Aokichi would be a, a fit because of the. I guess because. Yeah, because of he's, also, he's called Fast. His, yeah. his, his name, yeah. But I don't think that's actually going to happen. I mean, but, yeah. I, I think. Uh, like Marco would be a better fit because he actually has uh he the appearance of a of a bird. And because he's here. <laughs> and he's here, yeah. <laughs> but I mean it's not out of the like it, it's still a possibility because first of all we have um Aokiji pretty pretty much being confirmed being a member of Sword. Yeah. Like we just we all know it, and it, it, it's going to be revealed. And the next thing is, with um, X-Drake on the island, he must have already informed uh, Sword about what's going on, and that he he's uh, helping Luffy yeah. defeat Kaido. So I think it's, it's, it's still a possibility. But it would be, like, really bad for Aokichi to, to help out here, because... If Caribou knows this, and Caribou's really, you know, in 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 bad with, with Blackbeard, then Aokichi's cover would be blown. Yeah. Because why would Aokichi come here and help fight an emperor? That's true. So I don't think it'll happen. It, it wouldn't. It it yeah no it, it can't happen. There's too much that that's. Speaking against it. Okay. So here's the figure. <laughs> That's a nice one. Yeah. So I just put it up there for now to Kaido. All right. So what would you give this chapter uh, as a rating? Um, An eight. Yeah, I would have give, given it the same, an 8. It's it's okay. Uh, the fight with Robin, unfortunately, did not get resolved. Maybe in the next chapter. Yeah, it has to be, has to be done in the next chapter. On the other hand, we had two chapters with Jinbei and uh, um, Who's Who, so... Yeah, but there was a lot of important information in there of Joy Boy, Nika... Yeah. CP0. And Black Maria doesn't seem like that much of an important person other of being a subordinate to Kaido. Yeah. Maybe yeah. we'll get something next chapter. I see where you're going with that. So what do you think we'll see in the next chapter? I mean, obviously Robin will finish her fight, but what you know, what's gonna What's going to happen next? Are we going to a life stage? And we solve um, that? Or will it be Big Mom first, then life stage, then up to Kaido? I think... I actually think that next chapter we will get two fights completed. Um, uh, Robin will be, a, will, be, will be the second part of the chapter. And it will end with Robin defeating Black Maria. Uh, but I think the first part of the chapter will be um, either Inorashi versus Jack or um, Raisa versus Fukurokushu. 
okay, hear me out. This is crazy, you know, but here's what I think. And okay. I think I might be right. So we got this, um, let me see, I, I gotta get back up here. Um, Robin saying, and you'll never understand just how much it means for him to rely on me. He's one of the wings that'll allow the Pirate King to soar. So okay. here's my prediction. We will start off the fight with Robin versus Black Maria. And she will somehow, some way, refer to Sanji. We then go to the life stage. Sanji versus Queen. Queen gets beaten. And then we end the chapter with Robin beating Black Maria. That's my prediction. Queen will never go down next chapter. <laughs> well, you know, it would be, first of all... I'm no proud. way, that, that's a huge fight. This will be at least two chapters. Sanji fighting Queen. At yeah, least. It has already started, man. I think Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. I I think it, it'll it'll turn out like this, or it will be like uh Robin defeats Black Maria early in the chapter and then we switch over to Queen. Sanji and the fight doesn't it... end. Like it I never said it will well I said it, it uh, Sanji will beat him, <laughs> but um what I meant is uh it could still be like it'll be ongoing. But we will start the chapter with uh, Robin defeating Black Maria, and then it it'll be like uh, transitioning into Sanji. So yeah, that, that could be the transition. But Sanji, uh, Queen still needs to land a big blow on Sanji, and Sanji still needs to get into the raid suit, which probably got modified by Frankie at this point, so it's even stronger. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe I, I think this. Maybe, well, maybe maybe it's one of the one and a half chapters. I uh, I would be happy with that. Maybe maybe we'll see some nipple lasers Frankie installed. Just just for maybe, maybe Queen has his own. <laughs> 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 I could really see that. <laughs> yeah, same here. But I yeah, like I said, I you you're right. The Queen fight won't be over that easily, but I think we'll see a transition into into Sanji versus Queen. Yeah, but the only thing that strikes me with the but Mark yeah, I, I what uh, I just want to say yeah, I did say Sanji will be queen. I'm, I'm you know, <laughs> totally wrong there. By the way, <laughs> like it um, won't happen in 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 half a chapter. You're right. Um, the one thing that bugs me with uh, Luffy, Yamato, and uh, Marco defeating Kaido, um, Oda is putting too much focus on sorrow getting healed so it's still not out of the way that sorrow will fight kaido again mm -hmm. and maybe because he'll... Luffy, this, this parallels luffy and sorrow i think the last four chapters every time we get a single snippet of luffy getting recovered and sorrow getting recovered all this Paralleling those two, yeah, and yeah. still, still, Sorrow has Enma, and Sorrow is basically Ryuma, and Ryuma basically killed a dragon in Oda's previous manga in Wano. Mm. Well, it it could no, he, I don't know if he'll kill him, but I think there's, yeah, it's hard to say. I would like Luffy defeating him and Zoro killing him after. <laughs> yeah. Just just uh, cutting his head his head off in dragon form. Like him recovering again after. Uh, Luffy nearly defeats him. I don't know. It wouldn't fit Luffy. Luffy must be the one defeating him. Yeah, he will defeat him. How is the question? <laughs> he, he still needs some meat. Um, maybe, maybe it's actually happening that um, Momo will fly Luffy to the Fire Festival. They will fly underneath Onigashima to the festival, get there some meat, and then go back up. But maybe Momo needs some help with the, as I said, with those uh, balloons, with those gondolas. In the at the fire festival, so he needs some help to overcome uh, his fear of heights. 
and so he's the gondolas take them up and he's he's still shivering mm -hmm. and then he just needs to fly um at the same height you yeah. know what i mean that's that's a good that's that's a good thought right there i agree that that would make sense them uh rising up with the gondolas and Momonosuke maybe saying it's it's beautiful to watch them rise and overcoming the fear then maybe yeah but here's uh here's my theory about how kaido would could die because mm -hmm. i think he he kind of has to um you mentioned ryuma what if and you know we base this on ryuma's story luffy yeah. defeats him luffy's out of you know out of stamina Kaido yeah. drops to the ground. Onigashima still in the air above the flower capital. Um, yeah. Kaido rises again and wants to destroy the capital with a blast breath because the island is saved by Momonosuke's or or maybe even uh, Yamato's powers. Because Yamato got yeah. a deity. Okay, anyway, um, that's not the focus of my, of my little theory here. What if Luffy's out for a count... Um, Kaido got a mythical so on, so he recovers some stamina, rises up again in dragon form, prepares a blast breath to blast the flower capital, and Soro jumps in with Enma and slices his head off. Just yeah, like in the uh, Rumba manga. With the same attack, Soro sliced the horn off. Yeah. Because he missed uh, last time. Yeah, with the same attack. You just see, like, Soro jumping. Dra it's, called, it's called Dragon Blaze. Yeah. It would fit. I think yeah, that's... It, it, would, it would fit, uh, and I would like that. Yeah, if it would go down like that, I it might be okay. Because Luffy um, defeated him, yeah. and he's just basically just with his last strength, just rising up yeah. one more time to destroy the capital. Like, if I, yeah. if I can't be the Emperor of Wano, or, or if I can't have Wano, nobody will, and he tries to blast the whole capital away. Something yeah. like that. And Sora's just going, oh no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> so so one one more theory um, about Kaido's backstory. When Momo flies back up with Luffy, mm -hmm. maybe the backstory starts by Kaido seeing this little dragon, which <laughs> is Momonosuke, and he's he, this reminds him of his younger days when he ate the devil fruit after the God Valley incident. And that's how the backstory starts. Yeah, maybe. I'm just wondering if if Kaido's dragon fruit is also tied to Wano. You know, because he uh he became a dragon after he went to Wano, so maybe he can only be a dragon in Wano. Who knows? Have we seen him in dragon form? Yeah, somewhere else? I, I already, I already, um, I already had the the theory that um Kaido managed to overcome um. The negative effects of the devil fruit in water, mm -hmm. and he actually managed to swim up as this f small dragon or small fish, like carp. Um, yeah, uh, like up magic the carp. <laughs> yeah, he managed to swim up despite having a devil fruit. Yeah, and that's how uh, how in the mythical legends that. Um, he transformed into a dragon after this. That's possible. We'll see. But I don't know what will trigger his flashback. Maybe it's... Uh... Because Kaido can't die in water. Yeah. Uh, Else he would have tried. He's the strongest. He's the strong sea, air, and land. Mm -hmm. Why sea? Because he's a fish and basically can't die in the sea. Yeah. Makes sense. Still, I, I, I still think it, it would also be possible that he his flashback gets either triggered by the fight with uh, Yamato or even or the fight with Luffy. It doesn't even have to be Momo in that in that case. Yeah, I think the, I think the flashback will happen right before the final battle when Luffy comes back up with Momo. Or it needs to happen. At some, it, it won't happen after Kaido's defeat. No, but... I, uh, because we need to have some emotions with Kaido before he gets defeated. Well, it could also be just before the final hit from from Luffy, or even the final killing hit by by Zoro. It could be any time. 
Yeah. Could really be any time, yeah. It's but just not after, not after the fight. No, it needs to be before. After is out of the question, yeah. It needs to be in the next few chapters. After all the fights get resolved. Yeah. I think that's that's uh definitely what we're gonna see. Yeah. The fights resolved. And this backstory will be the greatest in one piece, trust me. Yeah, I like Lost uh, backstory. Still, yeah, I think I think. Um, and okay. Do Dofi, Dofi has a really uh, Odin's. Uh, Odin's backstory is probably the greatest, but uh, in I don't terms know. of hype, Kaido's should be. If I mean, we see the God Valley incident, I mean, with Odin, it's not much of a backstory for my, uh, just. In my, I I don't want to shit on Odin. Odin Odin is great, but I just feel like his backstory was. Hi uh, only hype because he was on Whitebeard's and uh, Roger's crew. Yeah. Just those two things and in my opinion like like Dofi's and, and Law's backstories are greater in the sense of what they actually have uh, like uh, experienced. Like, in terms that of was emotion of course. Of emotion. In terms of yeah, they were definitely uh, more emotional. But uh, because of the God Valley incident, Kaido's will be pure hype, I guess. And will how does he know about Joy Boy? All those things, there will be a lot of lore in this backstory. I think snippets. We won't yeah, get the full thing. Of course, of course, just snippets. But people, people want to get some theory stuff. Yeah. The community loves this. When there's just one line, the sun god Nika, people, oh my god, the sun, where is the sun in the story? People go back to chapter 1 to chapter 1019 and go through all this stuff to find suns and all those sun references. The, the community goes apeshit after, <laughs> after just one line. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, we'll see. And if you get snippets about Joy Boy, okay. But I, I just I just saw an incredible theory. Well, it's really out. It's an out there theory. I don't think it's true, but it's still an incredible one. Um, it's a it's a German guy called Ohara who lives in Japan. Um, and basically, the theory is that Love Tale or the Ancient Kingdom is on Chaya. And it makes so much sense. <laughs> what? Oh, yes. So you remember uh, Chaya plus Kaipia mm -hmm. is this big skull? Yeah. In this skull, there's still one eye missing. The right eye is not there. It would complete the skull. Oh, because, I see. Because, Ka because Kaipia is basically the mouth. Mm-hmm. And one, and the right eye is still missing. And there are a lot of times in One Piece that we see we see faces, we see some art stuff, we see even doors with one open eye with a sun and one closed eye with a moon. And masks. So, I think there is a CP0 mask that's kind of similar to that. Okay, I, I'll give you one picture. Wait a moment. There's All even right. he even got a chapter number reference with about Chaya and all the stuff when the Noland incident happened. Mm -hmm. And there's one chapter. Wait. <laughs> this this is incredible. Just wait. <laughs> oh my God, where is okay? Ah oh, shit. <laughs> I think it was chapter seven hundred and twenty-three. This is a this is the picture of the anime, and the incident or the year that the Chaya stuff happened was basically seven hundred and twenty-three years ago. Mm. And now you see that one, the art of Chiola. <laughs> and there, there are a lot of those hints. There is one. Um, it's even in Skypea, one um, art cover of uh, uh, one volume cover is 
basically Luffy, maybe I can find it. It's basically Luffy um, with one, yeah, it's this one. Yeah, it's even on Skybia. You see what I mean? Oh, well, he has one eye closed. It's, 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 it's mirrored, in, <laughs> but it's, it's yeah. basically the, the, uh, the left eye. Yeah. I think or there's the right a tear, eye. like the left eye with a tear and the right eye open. Yeah. Man, that's crazy. And yeah, and he even got some references to any slobby. And that love tale is probably underneath any lobby in this huge waterfall. <laughs> uh, he got a he got a lot of Japanese references which point to all this stuff. It, it is huge. Yeah, I, I still don't think that it's uh, in, the ancient kingdom is in Reverse Mountain, but the fear the fear is great. No, no, the the ancient kingdom can be anywhere. The One Piece is in Reverse Mountain. That's what's gonna be. It doesn't have to be that the One Piece is at the location of the Ancient Kingdom. Could be that it's somewhere. Doesn't have to be both in the same. Yeah, that's true. So it, yeah, it could still fit. Yeah. But isn't any lobby not protected at all? <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't fit. Right? Maybe, maybe it, well, it depends. Like, I, I can't imagine how Oda would pull it off to get these two things in the story again and have uh, Luffy and his crew visit those locations. Because it's, um, like, they would have to travel to Annie's lobby first to see the Ancient Kingdom, to get wind of uh. the story, to get wind of what happened, to find the One Piece... Which would yeah. then lead them to Rivers Mountain. They would have to. That's pretty crazy, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> and that would be really. Mm, I don't know. I, I I don't really see it happening that way. No, no, me neither. <laughs> but it's sort of. It amazes me that people are finding this stuff or are, are theorizing that. This right eye of Jaya is basically the ancient kingdom. Yeah. Well, the right eye is missing, you said, right? In in Jaya. So it's not a hole. It's a... Wait, wasn't the le left eye Wait, where I'll, the bell I'll was? Yeah, I'll show it to you. So the right eye... I have it here. Wait a moment. It's closed. So maybe at, at that location there is something else. I'll send it to you. Yeah, that's a thing that that there's something else. Okay, I'm opening it so people can see it. Oh, there's the, the temple. Is that yeah, where the, the bell temple. was, the right? Yeah, yeah. But then the right eye is missing. Uh, uh, left eye in that case. This, no, this yeah. isn't mirrored. Um, yeah. Yeah, where is that piece? <laughs> that's yeah. the question. <laughs> that's it, the it, thing. Hey, uh, maybe, maybe, there, maybe there is actually nothing, but... No, it's sunk. That's what I think. It's sunk to the bottom of the ocean. Because else, else they would have found it. Yeah. I love this kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. And I think, uh, think back, the first time uh, destroyers hear of that, they actually dive to the ocean bottom right before they uh, go to Skype and, and, and Giant. Yeah, and there are some ships, right? Mm -hmm. I think this part sank, and there's something important there. I don't know what, but it might be Something wait a moment. Crucial. You're you're right. Wait, Chaya. Wasn't this some gorilla? Mm -hmm. Wait. Yeah, the, the the gorillas from No Land. They have a, a diving thing going. So I think that might be the hint towards that it sunk that eye of the skull. Because right now I'm looking at pictures of the crew diving down there. 
And Sanji looking at this woman. Hmm. I don't know. I think that's just a hint. I don't think. Uh, I think it's a hint towards that that piece of the island actually sank. Yeah. Uh, so I, you l look at this one. I I just love this the, because all that did this intentional that this woman looks like Sanji's mother, and he, when they are sinking down there. Yeah. His face. Oda always preparing for the backstories, even 500 chapters ago. <laughs> this is crazy. Like... Yeah. <laughs> you know what? You know who this could be. Hmm? This could be um, um, uh, like the great, 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 great grandmother of uh, Port Gusty Rouge. Huh, maybe. Just pink hair, right? <laughs> like the ancient Portgas. I got no clue, but this is just... <laughs> I think it's it's a hint towards that, that piece of the of the island sank. Like with no land yeah. story and, and the knock-up stream and everything. We have that whole I uh, half of the island just being knocked up into the sky. So what if that piece broke off, didn't get knocked up, and actually sank? Yeah. It would make it would make a lot of sense. Would make, but anyway, I don't want want to get too much away from the actual chapter. <laughs> yeah, I'm just. The... You know, I'm at this point. I'm just curious how far Oda will go with all of this because. There's so many theories out there, so many mysteries on uh, left, uh, yeah. so many hints towards other stuff, like like you said, with the open and the closed eye. Yeah. How far will he actually go into this? Will we ever see him going for, that's where the ancient kingdom was, or there's uh, it, this was a, a, an important location, or you know what I mean. We will find out everything. And Oda will deliver. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, for example, we still don't know what those huge shadows are after uh, the the Frill Bark arc. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's lots. Yeah, we, will, we will find out everything, 100%. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. But anyways... Um, Something on Yamato. Well, now she's basically Amaterasu or a guardian DD wolf. Mm, close. Yeah, I think that's pretty close to Amaterasu. Also, the weapon, right? The the flaming wheel. You actually see those weapons in in Okami, like not as a weapon, but as an enemy. Yeah. Uh, the wheels with the faces. I love this. The solution of it just being a puck and a fire wheel. <laughs> yeah, I just I, I I just love how how Brooke actually resolves the situation. Yeah. Let's freeze the freaking dog. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. Yeah, but yeah, it was a good chapter mm. and no break. Nice. Yeah, no break. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. So, anyways, thanks guys again for watching. Uh, if you have any ideas what's happening in the next chapter or which fight you want to see next, please put it down in the comments. Mm -hmm. And I think we'll see you next week for chapter 1021. So, yeah. Kevin, thanks again, man. Yeah, thanks, Marco. Always, I think always we awesome. even got the opening today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> An unboxing right there, right then. <laughs> yeah. And it was so not... Thanks, Amber. It, it mm -hmm. was not staged. <laughs> we didn't plan yeah. this, just just so you know. You had a bell ring and Amazon deliveries here. <laughs> yep. Perfect, perfect timing. 
Yeah. So, guys, thanks very much. Kevin, thank you very much. And yeah. see you next week, guys. See you next week. Oh, and by the way, um, share, uh, uh, comment, subscribe. Um, yes. You know, the whole, the whole shtick. <laughs> How they like to Just say. the whole shtick, yeah. <laughs> True. All right. <laughs> All right. Good. Thanks, Nakama. Bye. Bye, Marco. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.